welcome to in five minutes today we are going to see how to make a bit and bit bar line high or equal to vdd if you remember we were trying to do the read operation and for the read operation the first thing what we discussed was that the w by l ratios or the read stability criteria in order to ensure the read stability criteria we discussed a few steps for the read operation just to have a quick recap we made w l or word line equal to vdd then we said that bit and bit bar lines both also should be equal to vdd and we also cleared the myth that bit and bit bar are just the names they can both have the same polarity so how do we ensure that bit and bit bar are equal to vdd very simple circuit which we are going to use is nothing but two pmoses connected back to back and let's give this input as phi and let's call this vdd very simple when phi is equal to 0 my transistor P3 and P4, all of you would agree, will turn on and will make this node and this node both go to VDD or logic high. When phi is equal to 1, P3 and P4 both will be equal to of and at that point of time, this nodes will hold its previous value. So if I call this node as bit and this node as bit bar, for the read operation, what I need to do is make my phi equal to zero. So this bit and bit bar line will become VDD or will get initially charged to VDD when I say initial charge, this circuit is called a pre-charge circuit. So let's see how our diagram will look with the pre-charge circuit real quick. So this is my pre-charge circuit. This is phi, we just saw that. This is equal to VDD. This node, we call it as or this point we'll call it as bit this is bit bar and this now very simple it's nothing but our six transistor SRAM we know this by now how this diagram is made true we also need to make our NMOS transistors that's cool. So where is our bit? This is my bit line. This is my bit bar line. You remember that the inputs were both shorted. Right now I'm not shorting it, just calling as word line, both of them, so they're internally shorted. And very, very simple. What we need to do is as simple as this. This bit is shorted. This is bit bar. Yeah, you are right. We missed out on one part, and that is nothing but using the cross couple connections. Perfect. This is nothing but my pre charge circuit. Pre charge circuit because when phi is equal to zero, it will make my bit and bit bar to VDD, and we will need this when we are doing the read operation. And the lower circuit is nothing but my six transistor SRAM. So with that, we understood pre-charge circuit. Stay tuned. Thank you.